The two men ushering in the new golden age of boxing. First, he is an Olympic silver medalist, and since entering the professional ranks has destroyed just about everyone in front of him. He has a record of 37 wins, zero losses, with 33 knockouts. The WBC, WBA, and IBF world champion, ladies and gentlemen, Gennady Triple G Golovkin. We are joined by the face of boxing in 2017. Since launching his professional career at the age of 15, there's little he hasn't done in the sport. He's a former two-time super welterweight world champion and current lineal and ring magazine middleweight champion. He has a record of 49, 1 and 1 with 34 knockouts. Ladies and gentlemen, Saul Canelo Alvarez. See, gentlemen, and we'll jump right into it. Don Chargett, I want to start with you, sir. You are the only person on this stage to have seen Sugar Ray Robinson actually in the ring and, and followed the uh, rivalry between him and, and Jake LaMotta. Now, looking back, what made that Sugar Ray and, and LaMotta rivalry so special? The best of each other. The uh, Ray won five of the six fights, and uh, the fifth fight, Jake won. But getting ready, they made a rematch three weeks later. But in the interim, two weeks later, Ray took a tune-up. So he fought three three fights in three weeks, and the tune-up was against the top 10 fighter, California Jackie Wilson. Wow, That's unbelievable. I mean, three fights in three weeks, if you think about that. And, and, and Bernard, you, you, sir, I know are a historian when it comes uh, to the sport of boxing. And, and while the four kings essentially battled each other uh, before you launched your career, and, and you debuted, I believe, in 1988, correct? Yes. Correct. Yes. So uh, tell us about the, the rivalry just in that era that existed among those four and why it was so great to watch back in the day. Well, one, one reason is the foundation that started a lot of unification, including mine. So when you go back to the Hagler's and the Leonard's and Ray Robinson and, and, and all the history in the middleweight division up to now, I mean, they're, this is a dynasty. They have it in football, they have it in basketball, we have it in boxing. And right now, you're starting to see another um, generation, right now, Triple G and Canelo, get a chance now to submit their legacy and that rich, long legacy of the middleweight division all the way back to Ray Robinson. Thank you, Right Now, bringing us to the present, Oscar, you, you've been a promoter for the most part of the careers of both the fighters, Triple G and, and Canelo. Um, what do you see in these two fighters that made it a natural transition for them to sort of usher in this new golden age? And, and kudos, by the way, to the timing, because it, there was no marination of like five years, there was no taking of the time. It seemed to happen at right, just the right time. Is that part of what makes this event so special? Well, what, what makes this event so special is that both fighters are in their prime. Both fighters are power punchers. Both fighters don't know how to take a step going backwards. They're gonna fight with passion, just like Ice Cube said. They have fire in their belly, and they're gonna give you a great fight. So that's what I'm looking forward to. As a promoter, this is a dream come true, especially because it's a middleweight division. And when, when you talk about the middleweight division, like Don Chargett did and Bernard Hopkins did, a middleweight fight does not disappoint. A middleweight fight always delivers, and September 16th, this fight will be historical because of their styles. They will give you a war. They will give you, it's gonna be 12 rounds of hell, let me tell you. This fight has zero chance of being boring, I'll, I'll tell you that. Gennady, what does it mean to you to be mentioned along the same names of all these wonderful fighters and to participate 
in an event of this level, because this is the biggest scale and the, mo the biggest moment you've had so far. What does all this mean to you? Absolutely, this is the biggest moment for me. This, I'm very proud. Thank you to my people, to all the fans you know, who support boxing. I respect this sport. I respect boxing. Thank you. Canelo, for being such a young guy, you, you've had many big moments. But this is probably the pinnacle of your career at this moment. What does this type of event mean to you? No, la verdad que sí he tenido grandes peleas, grandes, grandes retos en, en mi carrera, pero nos propusimos mi equipo y yo que, que en esta pelea se resumen 14 años de trabajo. Entonces, es una gran responsabilidad para mí eh, esta pelea pero sin duda voy a salir con la mano en alto el 16 de septiembre y me siento muy orgulloso de que se haya hecho esta pelea porque el que salga de esta pelea va a ser el, el mejor libra por libra sin duda Canelo has had many big events in his uh, career and uh, this has been the build up of 14 years uh, of his pro professional career he recognizes that this is uh, the biggest moment and he realizes that whoever gets his hand raised and he said it's going to be him will be the true best middleweight and fighter in the world yeah. 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 All right. uh, I'd like to move to uh, uh, September 16th specifically now and talk about uh, the best fight in the boxing in the current uh, era right now uh, Oscar, a lot of people thought this fight wasn't going to happen and that that politics were going to get in the way, or timing was going to get in the way, or whatever the case may be. How did you manage to finally have it come together and it's a nail on what essentially is the biggest uh, weekend in boxing, September 16th? Well, well, first of all, fights fights of this magnitude take uh, take a long time to negotiate, and uh, obviously we want to thank uh, uh, Tom Lofter, who did a terrific job, who is uh, Triple G's promoter. Uh, but fights like this uh, take a while to uh, to put together, but the fans were demanding it, and we delivered to the fans. And those are the people that are most important in boxing are the fans, so this fight had to be made. And especially on September 16th, not only are we going to enjoy a great fight, we're going to be able to celebrate Las Fiestas Patrias, La Independencia de Mexico. It's going to be a lot of fun. Las Vegas is going to be hot, let me tell you. It's a hot event for sure. Gennady. Up until about a year ago, essentially you were looked at as like the boogeyman of the sport. You were knocking out everyone, you had a, a, an incredible streak, and, and you, you were feared th throughout uh, uh, all the middleweight division. When people started saying after the Kell Brook fight or the, the, the Jacobs fight that you looked a little more vulnerable, that you may be getting a little bit older, do you feel that is the case? Do you feel that Canelo is meeting you still at the peak of your career? Oh, yeah, oh this, this, this is my fight. This is my story. Just right now, new story. Right now is new position. I believe we are we are bringing new step to history of Canelo. No. You. Thank you for everybody who supports this fight. because the sport and people are, are hardcore critics, um, they, they were, were giving you a hard time because uh, you, they, they made it seem like you were putting off facing Triple G. What do you make of the timing of it all and why do you feel September 16th this year was the right time to finally face Galovka? No, I think this type of fights take time to do it. It entre comillas duró mucho, pero este tipo de peleas duran cinco o seis años en hacerse, ¿no? Pero gracias a Dios está. Eh, lo que sí quiero decirles desde que tengo 15 años peleando profesional, no le he tenido miedo a nadie, no conozco el miedo y no creo conocerlo porque como lo dije una vez, cuando nací yo ya se había repartido el miedo, entonces no lo conozco, no lo conozco y, y solamente 
solamente quise brindarles esta pelea a la afición, una pelea que querían ver. Estoy listo para esto y para mucho más. These types of fights take a, a lot of time, just like Oscar said, and it didn't take the five years that you're used to for these um, mega fights, but it actually came together at the right time when it's supposed to um, come together. And uh, he, he was when he was born, that's when the fear left. There was no fear uh, to, to, to be there, and it's something he's very much looking forward to, and he feels the timing is essential and perfect. Miss Mario, before we go on, where are the Triple G fans? Where are the Banana fans? Uh, what I want to do, what I want to do is pick one Triple G fan and one Panero fan to come on stage. We'll send somebody up there to get you, so one Triple G fan and one Panero fan. You're going to have the opportunity to ask a question. Or oh, why do you think Canelo's gonna win, and why do you think Triple G's gonna win? We'll, we'll send somebody up to you get you. Ask a question. Maybe throw some chingazos, we'll see. Yeah. All right, now a question for uh, Eddie and uh, uh, Chepo. Oh, there they are. Eddie and Chepo Reynoso. Uh, Canelo is, is known for uh, being a, a gym rat, always working hard, he's always in incredible shape. Uh, given that this is the, the biggest fight of his career, are you gonna do anything different to prepare? No, 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 no se va a hacer nada diferente porque él siempre trabaja al 100% para quien sea. Esta vez no va a ser la excepción. Respetamos como, como persona a Triple G, pero el 16 de septiembre se acaba ese respeto para demostrar quién es quién arriba del ring. Para mí ya es el mejor libra por libra el canelo. Sola, solamente falta el 16 que se lo demuestre a todo el mundo. Gracias. And they always have respect for all their uh, opponents, but come September 16th, he's going to have no respect and do what he has to do uh, to get his hand raised. And Canelo is going to be the victor that night. Now, last questions right here before we get to fans. I know, I know fighters don't necessarily like to give predictions, but let me just ask her, I'll start with you, Gennady. Will this fight go the distance? Do you feel it will end in a knockout? How do you see it playing out?
Saúl 